What's poppin' beautiful people in YouTube land? I put the 3 and G value, you feel me? And wow, it's been a minute. Pfft. Yeah, it's been a minute since I did a vid. Um, I mean, mostly the reason towards that is because, I mean, I haven't been hitting, bro. Simple as that. Last sneaker I hit was on the, the Inflame 500s and it took like 10 years to come in and it's like at that point it's like it's not even a review anymore everybody done seen the sneaker so i mean i got i got a whole bunch of sneakers though within that time but like like i said i was getting them after like like resale so it made no sense to do reviews on those but i mean just know there's gonna be some reviews on the way i'm actually trying to change up the channel a little bit not necessarily doing just reviews anymore so in the upcoming weeks you're going to see a change uh you actually see a different background i mean this is just temporary because i am gonna have a complete new background set up even different from my usual one that i have so bear with me but you ain't here you ain't come here for all that you came here for the sneaker that i'm reviewing today which is the yeezy 450 dark sleep let's check it out so you see this box man see i had got the cloud whites too but i had got them joints way later way later man so it, was, it made no sense to do a review on those neither everybody mom said i got those they had got did the early reviews on them early reviews and all that but i mean got the black ones hit on these i was surprised i hit on these surprised i hit on these i actually forgot that they was about to release this week too Look and behold, the dog slates. Now you know Yeezy always got to do his second colorway, a black colorway, for the release of any silhouette that he do. And I mean, what sneaker not to do than these joints right here, the 450. Now me personally, I like the white ones, the cloud whites a little bit better. But with these, bro, you can't go wrong. These are fire. Like this shoe, I mean, I'm not going to hold your hands down. This is probably going to be shoe of the year. Yeah, I think it might be shoe of the year. For simple fact that the controversy and a lot of people don't like this shoe, like this silhouette, it looks like, like ribs. <laughs> so a lot of people is it's a lot of like talking amongst the shoe. Like a lot of people are starting to like it more now, being that they seen it on the feet. A lot of people saying they don't see a lot of people rocking them fire. But I mean, to each his own. I think it's fire. I I, I just like the uniqueness of the shoe. I like the uniqueness of all Yeezys. I like what the Yeezy brand is doing. They're making everything look futuristic and i mean it's better than nike i mean i still love nike but like i mean how many times you're going to do a different colorway jordan one a collab with like travis scott something like that it's, it's not really different like it's fire don't get me wrong like i like the colorways and i like what they're doing with things but this is like different like who's who's doing this yeah it's an all black shoe well not really all black all black is really on the sole itself like these little tubes like the foam on the bottom, but the actual prime knit itself is like a rusty grayish black. And then in the back is like some, I would say like a brownish, maybe almost like a brownish grayish color in the back, which is pretty dope. That's one thing I like about Yeezy um, black sneakers because for the most part it's not fully black. Like if you look at the Vantums, it's, it's different types of blacks in that if you look at the 500 the black 500s it's not really fully black neither it's kind of like ashy even with the with the v3s i think it's not really all that black i think it's like some elements of like some grays in that too so he always give you different type of like blacks and grays in the black colorway itself so i think that's pretty dope but this soul man this is what makes this shoe bro this soul bro <laughs> so it looked like some tyrannosaurus rex or, or something like i don't even know what to describe these bro look like dinosaur bones or something like that but that's what gravitates me towards these shoes as far as comfort i think they're comfortable son i would say if you have more of a wider foot i would say go up a full size but i mean then again it might be too much space in the front but that that will compensate with it being tight but 
more, but definitely for sure go up a half a size. Yeah, at this point, I'm gonna do a comparison right now with the white ones, see if uh, my final verdict is me still liking the first one or do I like these ones a little bit better. I got the Clower Whites here and I got the Dark Slates. Now, I don't know, man. I don't know which one I like better. Nah, I still like the Cloud Whites a little better. Because with these, I like these, but I mean, all I told myself, and I know a lot of people that, that got a lot of Yeezys, you like, you gotta pick and choose at this point. And it's like, I got black Yeezys, so it's like, if I didn't hit on these, I didn't really care, you feel me? Cause I got, I already had got the white ones, you feel me? So, it's one of those things where it's like, if I didn't get them, I wouldn't be as mad, but being that I got them, Type hype, I'm hype. <laughs> feel me? I'm, I'm not I'm not getting rid of them. I like them, but yeah, I would say yeah, the OG ones still still fire to me, man. Even though these are oh my god, yo, the first as soon as I put these on, I got these dirty. But the good thing about these, you you clean these in, in 5.6 seconds, just like the foam runners. All you gotta do is just well, the foam runners is easier to clean than these. You gotta like scrub these down because I had like a big dirt spot right here. You know, New York the streets is terrible dirty. But yeah, man, these right here, you could definitely get more wears out of them and, and mess them up and you won't even know because it's all dark, it's all black, you feel me? So I say as far as like wearability and, you know, not caring about like it getting dirty, these win the test. But as these ones, I, I feel like these was more like, like a statement. Somebody that don't know about sneakers, they look at your feet like, what are those? Same thing with these, but with these, it's like, being that it's all white, it's, it's like prevalent, like, what the fuck? But that was the video, man. Comment down below which one is your favorite of the 450 so far. Mine's being the cloud white, but by a little bit, because them dark slates, man, I like them. I like them, man. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of changes to the channel, especially my setup. You're going to see in the next few weeks. A lot of things is changing content wise on the channel so stay tuned man it's only gonna be for the better man I'm trying to try to make my joint as different as possible from like a lot of sneaker channels because you know when it comes to sneaker channels everybody be doing the same thing it's like bro i'm, I'm trying to think outside the box for 2021 going into 2022 man I'm not trying to be the same oh another sneaker youtuber feel me so it's going it's going to go down man it's going to go down but it's your boy g up and out of here peace